Americans are celebrating a brand new federal holiday today. It's Juneteenth, which commemorates the end of slavery. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live in Bed-Stuy, where a festival is just getting started. Hi, Christina. Good morning there, Cindy. The annual Juneteenth celebration in Brooklyn is going on its 12th year, and organizers say ever since the death of George Floyd la last year, the holiday has really taken on new meaning, reminding the country how far we've come and how far we still have to go. A joyous celebration for America's newest federal holiday brought Esme Robinson to her feet, the 89-year-old unable to contain her excitement. This is a celebration, a black celebration. All them years of suffering. And this is, this is New York, baby. The first of its kind Juneteenth block party brought hundreds to Harlem's St. Nicholas Park Friday to dance, sing, and to reflect. Festivities continue across the city this weekend, including at Herbert Von King Park in Brooklyn Saturday. Athenia Rodney has been organizing the event for 12 years. We have the um, American Independence Day, which is the 4th of July, and then there's uh, Juneteenth, which is Black Independence Day. And my point is that they have equal importance in the world. Historically, Juneteenth marks the day in 1865 when Union General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas to inform slaves they'd been freed. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Mayor Bill de Blasio say it's a major step forward in recognizing the sins of the past. But the fight for racial equality must continue. We all know that slavery officially ended in 1865, but we also all know that in many ways slavery is still with us. And we have to fight it every day. Juneteenth is a moment to recommit ourselves to change, to action, to not accepting a status quo that we all know is still broken. Yvonne Davis says she hopes this is the catalyst for real change. I hope this is the beginning of something. It just doesn't end here, that it will still move on and recognize our history and what we've been through as a black people in America. And the festival here at Herbert Von King Park kicked off just a few minutes ago. It'll go on until 6 p.m. today. In addition to live performances, there will also be food, of course, in addition to music and other workshops, all to celebrate the achievements of the black community. We're live in bed Brooklyn. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you. And stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of Juneteenth. You can find a full list of events marking the holiday on CBS. CBSNewYork.com.